The one I've been waiting for. Let's hope so. It looks like it is. <laughs> Seventy-four thousand. Nice. That's how we start the day. Good I day. love that. Yes. I got a check in the mail for seventy-four thousand dollars. It was a commission check for money earned. I made that guy two hundred thousand. He paid me my commission. Those are the type of guys you want. Guys that are big. Guys that actually pay you like they say they're gonna pay you. Let's bring it on in, guys. Put the phones on hold for a second. We have a little meeting real quick. Real simple. You guys been kicking. Ass. You guys been knocking them dead. We've been selling more news. We've been writing more business than any other room in Las Vegas. On that note, you know, I just want to let you guys know that, uh, you know, there was a big check that came in today, made this guy a whole lot of money. You know, he sent in $75,000. And one thing about it, this was commissioned for what I made him. You know, I like to spread around, you know, the wealth. So I put a couple envelopes together. What does a guy like me do when I get a big check like that? I looked on the board to see who my top five salesmen were, and I decided to give them all a $1,000 bonus. First envelope I got here, Fondo, you've been kicking ass, man. Taking names. I'm a motivational type guy. My job is to hire, train, motivate. Skip, another one of the top earners. And that's what I'm here to do. That's how successful Salesforce works. Jimbo, oh. you've been kicking some Ass, man. And that's what I'm going to continue to do to make sure my business stays at the top. Pirelli, good job, buddy. Keep kicking ass, buddy. Keep it up. Well, you got to money motivate them. Come and get it, sir. That $1,000 can bring you hundreds of thousands of dollars in the end. <laughs> you tell me, is it worth it? So after pounding the phones, the five of us that got our bonuses, we decide we're going to go celebrate with a little lunch. Love this place. The food in here is really good. If this isn't good, we're going to give your ass a 10 when we get back to the office. I would never lead you guys astray, man. I know all the good places out here. Probably drink my money away. What are you guys going to do at yours? <laughs> I'm going to the strip club tonight. <laughs> nah, I knew that. Imagine that. that. <laughs> you are really unbelievable, man. I'll tell you what. Real <laughs> cheaper just to buy your own club? That's the next step. I <laughs> come up put my thousand on Steve's best game tomorrow, probably. Put 50 wow. bucks in the gas tank, put the rest on Steve's best game. And... Wouldn't he be thrilled when we come back to the office and say, hey, boss, I took that thousand you yeah. gave me, put it on your best game, thanks and now I got two up. dimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks and for doubling me up. And then you know what he'd say? Where's my 50%? Right. I gave you. <laughs> what would actually make it more interesting is you couldn't play Steve's game. You had to play your own game, Hot Shot. And you still want to go to the book? <laughs> you still want to go to the book and do that? Well, we ought to have a contest. Take the whole bonus we got, put it in. We make the rules. What kind of contest? Well, who's the best gambler here, man? It's not that hard to figure out. Winner take all. Whoever ends up with the most money at the end of this thing takes everything in the pot. No one can be a because second place, you get nothing. We're going to have to have some damn rules for this venture. What do you suggest over there? We'll do one game tonight. We go fire one game on the board to kick it off. I think we should say you can't play Steve's game. Yeah, I think I like that one. You can't use one of the boss's games. Any yeah. amount as you want, the whole thousand. Yeah, yeah don't matter. Could, you could be done tonight if you lose. So how many days is this going to be? Today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Did they put something in your guys' food or what? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> we all start with the same bankroll. Day one, you bet on one big game. Day two, we're hitting the tables for two hours, and whatever you make in two hours, you're done at that point. On that third day, we're going to the Superbook, and we're betting sports all day long. The finals are the next day, winner take all. This is gonna be like the Olympics of gambling. To the first annual VIP Classic, to the first annual. And to many more. And to many I more, have a absolutely. Great idea. Very Kicks great. off tonight. So a few weeks ago, Pirelli gets this idea that he's going to turn one of my extra rooms into the Pirelli Lounge. I want to see a show. Turn the fog machine on. What is going on? Obviously, that wasn't flying with me. I needed to shut it down. OK, so I wanted to talk to you about a few things, you know, talk to you briefly on the phone about. Sure. Where do you want to sit down? Right oh, here? Right here, please. Oh, OK, awesome. I felt bad that I shut down him having fun, so I really wanted to go out of my way and do something that I know that he'd really, really appreciate. I have a friend, and he's also my roommate. 
So what I was thinking is I want to get like a painting as like kind of a gift for him. I got gotcha. you. So this is a picture that I took of him. Okay. Probably loves the way he looks. He loves looking at himself in the mirror. Make sure like this gold necklace because he wears this all the time. So I just felt like the best way to make him happy was to give him a portrait of himself. He's from New York and he's kind of like, you know, star face type of thing. So I feel like something like that would be kind of a really good look for him. So he's a little gangster then? Oh, he's way gangster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I can do something with that. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be great. This is no joke. So the first day of the competition, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the sports book and we're gonna be able to bet one game off the board and it can't be Steve's game. It can't be a VIP game. Hey, what's up, boss? How you doing? Um, 505 Miami Heat for 300. 300. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. There you go. All right, thanks, brother. I don't think Pirelli's thousand dollars is gonna last long because he's a little funny with his money. Big Jim, two hundred on uh, Texans. He'll bet with his heart, so he'll lose. Stu, he thinks he knows the NBA. Let me get a three thirty Miami Heat. I don't think he does. Fondo Jacksonville for uh, four forty. He bets the favorites, so he'll lose. When it comes to gambling, I'm smarter gambling than every one of them. Colorado Avalanche, Edmonton Oilers. I'm a money manager. Give me twenty bucks on it. Twenty. A, a, a $20 bill. Me against them, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a lot of money. So let's head over to the bar. Uh, I'm gonna go drink till that one chick looks cute. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Colorado Avalanche and the Edmonton Oilers under five and a half goals. Here's my wager, 20 bucks. Weak as $20. Man, you even oh like that God. game too much. 20 bucks. Wow, one this minute is game. Price is right. There's a reason why I bet Steve's games and I don't bet mine. My games don't win. So my strategy on day one, if I have to pick a game, I'm betting 20 bucks, and I'm gonna throw a dart. I'm gonna have at least $980 left tomorrow. I'll let them burn up. I wish you all good luck. I don't, I wish you terrible luck. <laughs> really pissed me off though. Seriously, twenty dollar bet. Yeah. No, but did you see him? Um, um, I had a few drinks. I'm gonna go home. You know. Last night was the opening night of the VIP Classic, an Olympic-style gambling tournament, and it features the best salesmen from VIP Sports competing. It's just weird that Skip took off early after just one drink. I mean, drinks are like potato chips to Skip. He can't have just one. It's just not like Skipper. Well, where is it anyway? Uh, he's seeing his he's seeing his family off, I believe. Oh, airport. I figured he might have been at the ATM withdrawing another twenty. Yeah. <laughs> he'll probably tie one on tonight. Be on the flight back home. Yeah, he'll be back. Yeah, oh, yeah. he'll be back on full he'll force tie tonight. One on tonight when we got to be at work at five oh, yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> we'll be back to form. Yeah. Uh, are you guys having a good time or what? Yes, we are, boss. The what what happened to work? It's What's the VIP on? classic, man. What do you mean, VIP classic? Yeah. You know the bonus yesterday? Yeah. The 5K? The five of us that got it. It's a gambling contest. Four days all out. Who's the best? Get the man. Office. You got a thousand apiece. You got four days. You got four events. And whoever's at the end at the most, winner take all. I like that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, so, so the casino's getting most of your guys' money except for one guy. <laughs> yeah. The high roller skip, he bets 20 bucks. <laughs> we weren't allowed to bet your game. Oh, oh, that's part of the stipulation. He's the only one that won. Fonda won his game. The other four, myself included, all losers. At this point, these results mean nothing. We're just getting started. You guys are all down hunters. You were talking about Skip only betting 20 bucks. Well, he's in second place, it sounds like. We want you to come along tonight with us. Come hang out with us, have a drink with us. You know damn well I'd love to go with you tonight. I, I just we, can't. We got the craft table locked down. So I mean, Me, you, and Jimbo, dude. I got Lee coming in. He's going to be betting fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 a game. So, you know, business money first. Yeah, so. definitely. Lee Pappas is a guy that started small with me. Lee's coming to town tonight with $100,000 cash in his briefcase. He's ready to step it up to a whole nother level. So as much as I'd love to be part of the big classic over there, I'm in business to make money, not play games. All right, guys. Well, right. you got me excited. I thought I was going to be pissed off. You guys are over here making ways to get paid. You're going to learn some money management from that program. I want to see who wins. I'll tell you that. Just check and make sure you cut everything. I got the blue bug. OK. All right. This is the worst part. Part I hate. Why well, we got this sent Thanksgiving together? It was really nice. I know. Love you. Thanks for coming. So my family's been here for a week. We had a real nice Thanksgiving together. We had a wonderful time. It's been a great week, and uh, I got to say goodbye to them now. And this this is not easy. 
Time flies when you're having fun, son. Yep. Well, it was great to see you again, son. Yep. Huh? Yep. You'll take care of your mother, all right? Yeah, I always do. All right, be responsible. Make sure you get your schoolwork done. You know, that's the most important thing, dude. Yeah. All right? I love you, dude. Is there any way you can come back? Can I come back to stay? You know what I got to do, boy. I know. I know you're trying your best. I got to work, man. Okay. Just take see care of mom. All right. all right? See you next time. All right. Love you. I'll probably see you at Easter, all right? Love Bye, you. honey. Bye, I love you. See you, guys. You. Thank you. I've been separated from my family for about eight months now, uh, working here in Las Vegas and having them on the East Coast. And I got to tell you, it's really starting to wear on me. I don't know how long I can do this. out of it. I, listen, I hate sports. How do you think you can make more money? Bet three games a day at 200 or one game at five? Well, we got something big getting ready to go off today that's going to absolutely knock your socks off. I tell you that right now. They said if anybody could use something special, it's definitely you. There's a lot of thoughts going on in my head, and I'm going to have to sit down with the boss, and we're going to have to talk about life. Skip has something private that he wanted to talk to me about. Is it okay if I talk to him in here for a second? Sorry, no, that's all, right. Right. all right. It's guy talk, all right? I hope it's not no advance. But he might not like what I have to say. What's going on, man? Well, you know, the family was here this week. You guys have fun or what? Yeah, we had a nice Thanksgiving dinner, you know? And uh, I just sent him off to the airport here about two hours ago. and. Sorry for being a little late today. And man, I ain't worried about that, man. Your family's more important than anything, man. I'm not worried about that. I'm glad you said that, because that, that's what I'm here to talk to you about. Um, you've been good to me, man, and I've, I appreciate everything that's been going on around here. I've made a ton of money, and we've been great partners, and... Dude, what are you saying? I'm not saying goodbye forever, but... you got to be kidding me. Are you trying to tell me... What are you telling me? I'm trying to tell you that... Um, I think I'm gonna have to go, dude. Uh, oh my God, Skipper, you're my top guy. You're my, you're my everything. You're my man too. I mean, together we're unstoppable. Skip, this is a guy that I was stocking down for years and years and years to come get as a salesman. This guy is my top salesman. This guy earns hundreds of thousands of dollars. Do I need him? Absolutely. I'd be doing horrible without him. My son's 13, man. He needs me. I need to be there for him right now. I mean, I know what it's like not to have a dad around. And I can't do that to him. And there's just no money. There's no money in the world worth it to me, brother. This can't be over. I got to go. So you're going on? Yes. And I don't. And week 15 in the playoffs? I'll, I'll, I'll give you another week or two. If Skipper goes home, he makes no money. I don't make no money. He needs VIP just like VIP needs him. Man, I, I can't even think about it. Lee Pappas is coming back into town. He's a little disappointed the way, uh, you know, he couldn't stay a little bit longer last time. <clears throat> and he wants to come back and fire. He's going to bet like 50 or 100,000. Wow. Anybody can count to know you know, it's going to be made in Vegas, baby. Lee Pappas is a very, very big client of mine. He's a guy that I can make $100,000 on in a couple days. Can't really ask for anything more than that. Steve, Lee, man, it's freezing out oh, here. This is like Boston. We're going to have to warm it up a little bit better than that. We're going to knock him dead. That's I right. guarantee you that. That's why I'm here. I know. It's time to get this money. Lee Pappas, guy that never played before in his life, started out betting $500 a game, built him up a bankroll of 70-something thousand dollars. I worked very hard to do that. I don't care who you are or who you think you are. That doesn't come easy. It's a success and nothing less. Yeah. So this is what I'm thinking. First of all, you said I could come back out here whenever. Well, today is the first day of whenever. What's the deal? You're just out here doing something real quick? I, or? I tried to make it longer, but I'm only here one day. One day? You got to be kidding me. This guy was supposed to be coming here for the weekend. Does one day scare me? Absolutely. It's a one-day gig. 
You know how I preach money management. You know how I preach discipline. My whole business is to teach somebody one game a day through the weekend, money management versus to get somebody to bet big on a game. He pays you if he wins, and if not, it's you, and he's gone. Oh, these kind of days, these weekend days are big for you? I know you can make it happen oh, for me. No. If it's the one day that I lose out of seven days and you bet 50 or $100,000, I look like an idiot. Dude, you could do it. I'm just saying, it just makes me on edge when you're only here for one day, one game, you put me on the spot. Do I think Lee's cut out for high stakes gambling? Absolutely not. I've seen how this guy takes a loss. It's one game, it's one loss. Uh, dude, I, got, I gotta go. I just I can't, I can't sit here for this. That's why betting one game is scary. But at the same time, who's going to say no? I'll just make sure that the game that you and I play is a game that is definitely the best I could possibly do. Whether it's one day or not, I don't play to lose. You got a guy like Lee that I've built up his account over months to come into town with this big bankroll. That's everything it took you two months to make. You can lose that guy like that. So I'm going to tell you right now, looks like this game means everything to me <laughs> in a major way. This is where it's at, man. Heck yeah. It's day two of the VIP Classic, and we're back at the LVH for table game. Two players will be eliminated today. We got roulette, blackjack, and everybody can play wherever they want. Just because we're in the gambling industry doesn't mean we can walk into a casino and conquer the tables. I mean, these casinos weren't built with people winning on tables. I'll get right here. Oh, I'm gonna have this guy in my here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Blackjack is my game. I know that I can play blackjack better than uh, Skip can play baccarat. Certainly better than Jim, Stu, and Pirelli can play roulette. Day two is gonna be a great opportunity for me to leave them in my rearview mirror once and for all. You know what? What's that? When Pirelli and Jimbo get together. Yeah, I think And that's... there's drinks involved? Yeah, I, I really believe that. And there's gambling that. involved? <laughs> so in order to stay until tomorrow, I got to be Stu and Jimbo. They're not smart gamblers at all. Not too worried about them. Red again. Oh, oh my gosh. God. When is that red going to quit? Woo! Well, I'll tell you right now, Skip ain't betting nothing. No, he's already losing. My strategy today is to just lay back and let the tables take these guys down. I'm going to bet real small on Baccarat. Come on, odd baby. We need odd this time. Woo! Yes. Oh, again? 36 again? All right, let's get going. Two hundred on red. Let's do it. Red. Black. Damn. I was up with the two hundred. Got greedy and started losing. Stu's last stand. There's last twenty bucks left. And it's on black. And it's all gone. Uh. So I totally went bankrupt tonight with the games. Lost my whole thousand dollars, the whole nine yards. just couldn't get it to work there at the blackjack table. If I had stayed there and not moved over to Baccarat, I would have been gone. I got 900 left. You do? Yeah. We got a thousand. I will be too. Well, yeah, plus this. Make win, six two. I got to go over here and fire. Hey, if All we're right. bothering you, man. Oh, yeah, you guys really are. <laughs> we had two hour time limit, probably about 30 minutes to go. Uh, I, I, I started firing pretty big on the Baccarat table uh, a little bit earlier than I should have, betting $100, $100 on a hand. That sucks, seven, yep. I knew that I just, like I said, got down to the last half hour of do or die. I'm done, I'm gone. That's it, I'm out. What are you hiding over there? Nothing. Big Jim, no more money. Two down, two to go. I gotta be honest with you, this is the way I saw it playing out. Me, Fondo, Pirelli, and I'm the better man. Yeah. It's us three in the championship. Good job, guys. This could be the uh, Pirelli, job, Skipper, boy, or Fondo trophy. So I commissioned a painting for Pirelli, and I'm on my way to go get it right now, and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. I'm excited. 
It looks like you're in work mode here, <laughs> I right? Am, I am. I'm actually uh, putting in the final details now. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh, it looks. Oh my gosh! Wow. I mean, you totally got the eyes and the and the frown down perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Vegas uh -huh, right through here. Uh -huh. I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh huh. Oh, those, yes. uh, the watch, the necklace, perfect. It's so good. I'm glad you like it. It's amazing. I'm confident today. You came out here with a little better mojo. <laughs> We're not getting back door tonight. Lee Pappas comes to town for one day and wants to bet a lot of money on one game. I'm afraid that if Lee loses his bet, he's not going to do business with me anymore. And let me tell you why. I think he's okay with the winning big, but he's not okay with the losing big. We're looking at Auburn? Yeah. We're gonna take Auburn, 55,000 to win 50, and I know they're gonna get the job done. One thing about Auburn, they know how to wear down the team, wear down the team, wear down the team. You need a team that's gonna grind to the end, and that's what Auburn's gonna do. All right, so he wants 55 to win 50 on Auburn. Oh, well, it's gonna be easy, but I know we're getting the money. I guarantee you that. Yes, sir. Just make sure it's plus one. Plus 55 one. to win 50. We're taking Auburn, which is plus one. What that means is Auburn's the underdog. They're getting a point. In other words, they can lose the game by one, and it would be a push. That's how we roll. Hold this ticket. <laughs> oh, man. So we got all day in the book. Yeah, we got uh, we got all day. Doesn't matter whatever what you want. No, doesn't matter what time your game starts, as long as it's in the book. Yeah. And then tomorrow morning, we'll see what happens. We're in day three of our little four-day gambling tournament. So you got 575, yeah. you got 1200. Yeah. I got 850. Good luck. Good luck to you. At the end of the day, we'll see who has the most bankroll, and someone will be eliminated. So 2466 on the money line, 2456 on the money line, 126 on the money line. So I'm playing what I consider a lottery ticket here on day three. I'm going to wager 450 on a six game round robin. So I must win at least four of the six to break even. If I win five, oh, I'm going to score. If I win all six, this competition's over and there'll be no catching up for anyone. Don't do this at home. I want to do three, four, five, 575. Florida State Duke in the hole. I'm going all in. My whole bankroll, $575 on Florida State Duke, total in the over. It's all or nothing. I want to get a, a, a parlay. 11.27 with 6.48. Since I'm ahead of both of them, I actually, you know, bet $1,000 on a few parlays. And really, if I just hit one of them, I'm going to be in good shape. I need Butler with Baylor. The two Bs. So would you have four teams total with two parlays? Yeah. Are you betting parlays, Pirelli? I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it better be laid out. I didn't pay for it for nothing. I'm supposed to have you look. OK. Well, welcome home, dude. Yeah, no, this is what it's supposed to be. My home. <laughs> this is where we can win an uh, easy 50 Gs. This well, is what dude. I'm talking about. At least it's comfortable enough to where we can watch the game and uh, do our thing. This guy wants to roll the dice, I'm going to roll them right there with him. I'm going to sit right by him, I'm going to root this game in. You ask me why I do this business, this is why right here. Sitting right here in my town, betting $50,000 a game, this is what I do that everybody else claims to do. You got to have big balls for a game like this, that's what I try to tell you. It's going to be a shootout, but we're going to get the job done. Blue through that. Who's that? Service? service? Room service. Grab that. You want me to get it or you got it? No, I got it. All right. Get in there. Hey, hi. Yes! How are you? We scored. You hear that? We scored. We scored. <laughs> Let's go, Auburn. Let's go. Dude, what happened? She rang the doorbell, we got a touchdown. It's gonna be a close game. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's gonna be exciting. Hello, I'm 50-50 split with the guy. That's 25,000 commission my way in about three hours. Who doesn't want that? Yeah, that's some bull What the is that? Oh, 
Unbelievable. Boy, you talk about an over. It's day three of the VIP Classic, and it's down to Fondo, Skip, and me. Today we're playing the sports book, and at this point, it's anybody's game. So, I mean, I'll, it looks like I'm uh, throwing this ticket in the trash, but I'll tell you what, they gave me a good run for my money. Today's going to be a really pivotal day. Uh, you know, one of us is going to be eliminated today, so games aren't looking too good right now at this point. The only thing i got going for me to keep me pumped up is I can tell Skipper is frustrated to the max. Oh. Big boy in the middle. Oh, man. They hit that and won. You got it, buddy. Good job. I put all my money on Florida State in the over, and that looks like a sure loser, so probably no VIP championship for me. But that doesn't mean the fun needs to end, because I'm going to spend the rest of the day convincing Skip and Fondo that I'm on a hot streak. You might want to start, uh, that a little harder. I am gonna have to start plotting some shit, gentlemen. I'm afraid I may be in a heap of trouble. So now Skip's betting more, and he's betting horses, and he's completely lost his plan and his whole train of thought. Come on! Get down the stretch with this thing! Keep coming! Keep coming! He's gonna die. He's gonna die on me. Hang on with the seven! Come back with him! What do you mean? That's one seven! I got the seven! I just had a hundred dollar exact to straight, seven one at Penn National. The track where I started gambling as a kid with my grandfather. I walk by, I see the horse. The horse's name is It's Good to Be Me. At the track that I grew up with at my grandfather. Are you kidding me? I gotta bet that horse. I throw a hundred dollars on the nose on this thing for the one to come second in an exacta. The hundred dollars would have returned me over six hundred bucks. Coming down the stretch at seven one, and the one comes up and just passes me right before the wire. Now I remember why I don't bet horses. I'm losing the Dayton game at halftime. For the first time, I actually feel like I'm gonna get knocked out. <laughs> Pappas has 55,000 to win $50,000 on Auburn. If this guy loses, I'm to blame for it because I went against my system. I didn't have him bet 10000 to where I get a nice commission and let him go home and live to see another day. I allowed him to put $50,000 on the game. We didn't need that, dude. Why the f do they keep letting him score, man? Dude, are you that concerned? Because no, that, that's not, making me I want to play concerned. defense. Yeah, I got my money on it, too, Lee. I, I, I know. Believe me, I know you're concerned. Relax. Trust me. You said you trust me, right? I do. All right, let me do my thing. I mean, you look at the score. You're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. I mean, why do you think I don't like watching these games? This sh will give you a nervous breakdown. <laughs> That's the part that reminds you to breathe. <laughs> reminds you to breathe? Yeah, this is the part where you take the knife out of my bag. <laughs> Buddy, we're fine. It's a shootout. I ain't worried about it. I just don't like when they let them score on bull. I know. W. Hey guys, I'm gonna have to leave you to go cash in a minute. Oh! The butler cover? Oh, they did indeed. I played two parlays earlier, lost one, won one. So that's kind of a split. Oh boy, this is starting to get crazy now. What do you say, Pirelli? I can honestly say I'll be in the next round. I got one late game, it's just a small game, means nothing. But, um, looks like I'm going to the championship round. Okay, so right now, I'm completely out of money. I have zero, and Skip's convinced I'm in first place. So actually, I'm gonna stay and have a great time because <laughs> Skip's mad over there, and uh, I'm getting more of a kick out of that. We'll see what happens with the late games. Yeah, it was a great idea. We'll bro. go in tomorrow morning, and we'll know what's up. Yeah, here's to the VIP Classic. The VIP yeah. Classic. Oh, that hurt. Then the stress it out. You're not a degenerate. You're a stockbroker, and it's a numbers game. Stay positive till it's over, would you? Oh, God. Can you believe at the end of the third they let these rush for 490 yards? Dude, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. This is, this is making me nervous.
You'll be all right. This guy's never put $50,000 on one transaction in his entire life, and he's probably in there breathing heavy like he's ready to die. <sighs> oh, Mizzou, what are you going to do? Touchdown. What's happening? We scored again, baby. <laughs> Look at the score. Yes! Lee goes to the bathroom. Auburn scores again. We're up by 10, baby. I'm going to probably send him back to take another by the end of the game so we can get a solid winner. But uh, the game's looking good. I couldn't ask for nothing else. Yeah, you should look sad. You, Missouri. Auburn all day. Steve Stevens, VIP. It's a minute and 15 seconds left. And we can't lose. <laughs> Sit down. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? Anything else I can do for you, baby? Yes! Yes, mother <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh I broke the table. Yeah. I'm buying the table. God, you had me stressed out. <laughs> you, I, I had you stressed out. Holy <laughs> Auburn got the job done. 55000 to win 50000 Do I like making $50,000 bets? You bet your ass. Is it money management? No. Did I roll the dice? You're damn right. Did I come up successful? You're damn right. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. One thing about Steve Stevens, I can show you better than I can tell you. Fair enough. Want to cash in that ticket? Great. Thank you. Well, let me give you Steve's cut now. All right. All right. 10, 20, 5, 12. All right, 5,000. Oh, right here. Here's that's for you, too. Oh, this for me? Yeah. All right, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Hey, you need a ride to the airport? Yes. All right. All right. What up? Hi. Oh, man. It's cold out there. I know. Huh? They didn't have a uh, porterhouse or whatever, so I got some New Yorks. Let me see my baby boy. He's been so good to you. <laughs> I love you, buddy. How was your work day? I went and met Lee Pappas. Yeah? And, uh... Sounds like it was a good day because your voice is gone. Yeah, no, we won. I had Auburn. Uh, he made 50000 Hey. So nice little $25,000 commission. Didn't hurt none today, so... Winning that game was great, but where I can really appreciate the money I earned is when I take that check home to my family. This is all I think about when I'm at work. I can't wait to come home and see him. So, uh, any updates with Skipper? <sighs> my top salesman, Skipper, comes to me and tells me that he needs to move back to Philly to be with his family. This is my number one guy that runs my business. He's the one that allows me to be with my family. So I need to figure out something, and I need to figure out something quick. He deserves to be with his family, but at the same time, I gave him my job. So now I have to talk to all the upgraders, which means I have to be at work more, which means I'm not going to be in front of my son, so uh, I'm not happy. But it definitely sucks for Dominic and me, and, you know... I'm going to get him to come back, and that's just all there is to it. Been. CJ's last night. What do you mean? Slept you dumped over her? there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I've been waiting for you to come home. I have a surprise for you. For what? It's early Christmas and apologizing that the what? Pearly Lounge only was a one night thing. So I, mean, I had to do something to kind of make up for it. Oh, I gotta see this. <laughs> All right, let me go get it, okay? Go get it. All right. Better be a couple hot chicks in there. No, stop. What the hell is this? Come here. Oh my God, I gotta see what this <laughs> is. Okay, are you ready? Oh my God. <laughs> How great is this? <laughs> oh my God. You love it, right? Holy <laughs> that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. How the hell did you Look get at this? Look at the necklace. The uh, your collar. Chat, the collar. And that's kind of like the strip in the background. <laughs> the <laughs> love that, right? This, this is going right over the bed. Is this better than the Pirelli Lounge? This is the Pirelli. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't believe No, this is like the best gift I ever All right, then get on, Rutgers, and make your money. Welcome aboard, partner. I'll see you in the winner's circle tonight. Skip a room. That bug. How'd you end up making out last night? Did yeah, you hit I, your round robin? Yeah, I'm, I'm not bust. I'm okay. All right, guys. Uh, just wanted to pull it in. First of all, um, I'm looking at our board. We wrote uh, 16,014 news on a Sunday. Give it up. That's pretty damn good. These guys are out here talking about the industry's dead. Says who? They said hip-hop was dead, too, didn't they? <laughs> Man, we have absolutely kicked ass and take names this whole season, and it don't look like we're going to let up. However, I'm sick of hearing about this big-time Vegas VIP Classic, the VIP classic. tournament, <laughs> this, that, and the other. First annual. First annual. So somebody tell me what's going on. Pirelli, what, tell me what's up. Last night, we went into the round, what, Skip, Fondo, and I. It was betting sports all day, and uh, I got zero left. What? <laughs> I got zero, zero left. Yeah. No, you don't. I bluffed Skip all day. To, I, bluffed, zero, I bluffed him all day to make him bet all night. I couldn't believe it. I went to bed last night thinking, I'm done. He got me. Dude, if you're letting Pirelli swindle you, what's these clients doing to you, Skipper? Top salesman, awful gullible. All right, so, so it's that. down to Skip and Fondo. How much do you guys have left? 300. Jesus. I still got 930 left. Uh, so you're the uh, only guy. Give it up for Fondo to still only trick off, you know, grocery money. Here, here, here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. Here's what I'm thinking. Why don't you put your money, the whole 900 and whatever you have, why don't you put your whatever you have, one roll of the roulette table, winner takes all. These guys were going to be betting who farts the longest next. I put an end to the contest by saying, you're going to take first and second place, and you're going to go put it on the roulette wheel. One guy goes black, one guy goes red, winner takes all. Why don't we go to the mother hotel, and you guys go put your balls on the line like you're supposed to, and let's go see who comes out a winner. And drinks, and drinks on me. How's that sound? Hey! VIP Sports had a phenomenal week. I'm going to let them off a little bit early so we can celebrate our success together as a family. Wrap your up. Let's go have some fun, man. Way to finish out the week this week, guys. Can I get a crown, Ginger, please? What are you drinking, crown? Yeah, let me get it. Anyway, dude, I just wanted to get a couple things off my chest, bro. Before everybody gets down here for the VIP Classic, I want to have a little one-on-one -on -one with Skip, because at this point, I can't have him go. I mean, you're my guy. I give you all my paper. You're my number one upgrader. You make more money than anybody there. You make me more money than anybody there. And just to know that you were leaving when it sunk in, man, I was devastated. You've been very good to me. I mean, you're a good dude. We made a lot of money together. It's been great. I don't like you keep talking about it. it's been great. This ain't over. Will you stop talking like it's that? It's over for right now, Steve. I, OK, yeah, it's over maybe for the holidays. I understand. Bottom line is, it's, it's about my family. It's about my, my son. I, I tell you a proposition that I have. You say money doesn't mean anything, but I guarantee when you tell the wife this, she might take it a little bit different than what you do. You come back, I will give you $50,000 towards a down payment to a house. To make that offer, to help on a down payment on a house, he's going above and beyond the call of duty. I got to talk this whole thing over with my family. Here's the deal, dude. I can get him in the finest schools like you want, the baseball camp. I can get him, you living right there next to us. We can get the old lady having fun, coming over with mine, eating dinner, and giving her what she gets out of Philly. Yeah. A family atmosphere. Could he make the same type of money in Philly? Absolutely not. If you're with your family and you're happy and you're not making money, that happy will end real quick. And I can tell you that from experience. I offered him the money, and I meant it. Now it's up to him to go sell his wife on it. I appreciate that, man. Enough of the mushy I got you guys here to put your nuts on the line. You won every contest. You going to win? Oh, you know I'm going to win. Let's roll. <laughs> There's uh, 930 there. Let's get this contest over. What color are you picking, Fondo? It's all about the black for me. You're man. taking black? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, black it is, guys. We had a phenomenal year. We're by far the number one company. Let's finish this off with a mother bang. How's that? Yeah. Go ahead and spin these mother yeah. Let's roll them all.
Bondo's a winner. I'm happy for him. If I'm going to lose anybody, might as well lose to my friend. We did a little something special for you guys. You wanted it personally engraved, so boom! Black all the way. It's really important to me because I know Skip wanted it. I'm proud. I really am. Yeah, everybody get their glass, guys. Look, our company is more than just a company, man. You guys are family to me. I really want to thank each and every one of you for everything you've done for me. Let's go have a great season. You guys are the best. From the bottom of my heart, I love you, guys. VIP, baby! VIP! VIP! Well, what separates me from everybody else in my business, number one, is I win games. And number two, I have the best sales force uh, in Las Vegas and in the industry, period. Give it up for I pumped the guys up because at the end of the day, you know, we got to be one big family. At the end of the day, we got to have a, a group of people.